God's smiling faces is the heritage we have as sons of God. Christ is risen to new life, put an end to death and strife. Now we celebrate as one and sons of God. Let the sun shine in, share Christ with your neighbor, and happiness will never leave your heart. Oh, let the sun shine in, share Christ with your neighbor, and happiness will never leave your heart. In your home or at a party People wishing all their friends the peace of Christ Happy feelings in the air Forget your troubles and your cares Feel the love as we share the peace of Christ Oh, let the sun shine in Share Christ with your neighbor And happiness will never leave your heart Oh, let the sun shine in Share Christ with your neighbor, and happiness will never leave your heart. Let's hear you all. Let the sun shine in. Share Christ with your neighbor, and happiness will never leave your heart. Oh, let the sun shine in. Share Christ with your neighbor, and happiness will never leave your heart. One more time. Oh, let the sun shine in. Share Christ with your neighbor. ourselves then with the sign of our faith in the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Jesus in the gospel today shows us the coming attraction of Easter when he stands on the mountaintop and is transfigured with his apostles. He shows us where we will be one day with him. But before we end up there, we need to follow and carry his cross and to ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, on the Mount of Transfiguration, your glory is revealed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the chosen one of God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the promise of the everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us, Lord have mercy on us, Lord have mercy on us, Lord have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight be pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is the 
Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. Lifted up, the hand of the Lord is mighty. I shall not die, but live to tell the marvelous works of our God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and This is the work, the work of our Lord, how wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Norm. We're glad to have Norm back after his uh, episode on Ash Wednesday. We're praying for you, Norm, that you come back. We want to. I want to welcome uh, the musicians who joined us today, who, who joined us for the liturgy. Thank you. You're here once a year. You add, you add zest and energy to our, to our liturgy and the Feast of St. Joseph. We didn't plan it that it would be St. Patrick's Day today, but you know, we're going to celebrate in the hall afterwards. I hope you're all, uh, you're all going to join us in the hall afterwards. And I came out here because I want to show off our new vestment. This is kind of a fashion show. This is called The Passion Panels of Christ. And there's five panels on the front. The, uh, the Last Supper, the Agony in the Garden, the Scourging, the Trial Before Pilate, and the Carrying of the Cross. Now on the back, there's five others. So Jesus is stripped of his clothes, the nailing on the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus is taken down from the cross, and Jesus is placed in the tomb. Now, this is a beautiful uh, vestment, and it puts us kind of in the Lenten uh, spirit. Second week of Lent, one third of the season is already over. If you made any fasting or, or abstinence or acts of charity or prayer, if you made any promises for Lent, get, get on. Um, on track again, because maybe if human nature being what it is, maybe you kind of fell off the track, but one third of our Lenten journey is, uh, is over, and we're reminded that we have a long way to go yet. And today in the Gospel, Jesus reminds us that besides carrying the cross, we carry the cross with Jesus, and, but then we share in his glory, and the transfiguration is a beautiful beautiful promise of what awaits us. Uh, and this is Jesus showing us what a taste of heaven is, is like. Standing on the mountaintop there and, and showing himself dazzlingly white to his apostles, Peter, James, and John. The three that are his favorite apostles always seem to be with him when an exciting and dramatic thing takes place. And here he has Peter, James, and John on the mountaintop and Moses and Elijah appears. And this connects Jesus to the Old Testament, to the law and to the prophets. Jesus now stands there as the fulfillment of the Old Testament standing on, on the mountaintop, showing us the way. And then we have the powerful voice of God the Father up above that says, This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. The same voice that came over from the cloud when Jesus was baptized. And St. Luke shows Jesus to be a man of prayer. Over here when Jesus prays in the garden before he dies, uh, Luke now has Jesus praying, and the apostles, of course, fall asleep again. They fell asleep in the garden when Jesus says, Could you not watch an hour with me? And they fell asleep at that time, and they fell asleep here. But they're awakened by this dramatic scene. And Peter doesn't even know what to do. He says, well, we're going to build tents for you. One for Moses and one for Elijah, one for you. But he really doesn't know what he's saying. He, he's just overcome by the, by the drama and the excitement. Knowing that this is indeed a special time. A special time in, in, in the moment of following, following the Lord Jesus. Because after this, St. Luke tells us, is, is the hard time when Jesus will be uh, uh, arrested and put to death on the cross before the resurrection. Now in the first reading, we have another dramatic thing that reminds us that we are sons and daughters of Abraham and Sarah. Because this is the covenant relationship that we have. We are sons and daughters of Abraham and Sarah. We may be Irish or Poles or Italian or whatever, but we are all Jews by nature of our religious belief. We all share the faith of Abraham. And he made the covenant with, with the Lord. Jim Cusey announced it so well when he read the whole scene. 
And he makes the covenant relationship. And at that time, what they did, the two parties would come together and they would kill animals, which was, was kind of gory. But they would split these animals and, and cut them in half and put them on the ground. So they had a heifer, a goat, a ram, turtle dove, pigeon. All these animals would be placed on the ground with their blood and those who were making the agreement, signing the covenant, would walk between the parts of these animals. And that would be, that would mean that you would validate that contract by walking through, through those animals' blood and even marking yourself. Is that glory or what? But this is what they did. And so this is the covenant relationship that Abraham walks through those animals. And then the birds of prey come and devour this. What a dramatic scene. And Abraham kind of falls asleep because it's, it's, it's a dramatic scene and he kind of falls asleep. But then while he's asleep, what comes? The fire comes. God's fire comes upon these animals and emulates the animals. Uh, animals and they burn. This is a dramatic scene that we are sons and daughters of Abraham and that we share the faith of the Jews. The faith that Jesus came to fulfill. The Old Testament faith that would come to fulfillment not only on the mountaintop when Jesus revealed his glory but more totally when Jesus died on the cross and rose on from the dead for us. Please join me now in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial of the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I can trust one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy, we call to mind our needs and the needs of the entire world. Our response today is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that we may be transfigured into a people who carry on the mission of God's chosen Son in our communities and in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries who preach the gospel in foreign lands, following in the steps of Christian witnesses like St. Patrick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may make the effort to listen to God's chosen Son and discern what He is saying to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and for their caregivers, that they may know the abiding love of God through the care and concern of our community, especially for Betty Sherman, Nancy Gendrel, Madeline Noonan, Bernie Vitalo, Yvonne Dory, 
and all those who are listed in our bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enter God's presence, especially John Murray, husband of June, Barbara Mullen, mother of John, Thomas Vargas, Gonzalo Yu, father of Sue Yu, Paul Larry Zayner, Lorraine Pazizinski, Matthew Pollock, the people of New Zealand that were killed in the mosque shooting, and also especially for Phyllis O'Brien, Thomas Walton, E. Franklin Carell, Jr., Rosemary and James Francis, all for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord our God, we are your people, the descendants of Abraham and Sarah, as numerous as the stars of night. Listen to the prayers we bring before you today and grant them through your chosen Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and in mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For after Christ had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your holy name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come, you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and we look forward to his coming again, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Granted, we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Patricia, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Blaise our Cardinal Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family we have gathered here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brethren and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Join us in our first communion song.
perish it out. <laughs> we have Rick Rizutko Kelly in the back on the trumpet, and his brother Bob Odie Rizutko O'Brien on the saxophone. Kelly Roger Milanowski on the drums and vocals. Lauren, what do you want to be called? Lauren Long, my daughter on violin. It's always a pleasure to be back at St. Patricia, especially on St. Patrick's Day, Father. Thank you. And we want to thank uh, the man who arranged the whole thing, Eddie Prorock. Is Eddie here? Or is he in the room? He's making the pizzas. He's next door I set up the floor, so thank you very much. Let's conclude our liturgy. Please stand, let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless your faithful ones, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them ever faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his body to the amazement of his apostles. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace now to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, God. Please join us in our closing song, Joy, Joy, Joy. Doesn't take an awful lot to earn a little smile. Stop and talk to someone for just a little while. Thank the Lord for what we have on Sunday when we pray. Celebrate the joys of life, that's why we're here today. We've got that joy, 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 joy. Yeah.